Okay, so today I'm spray painting my Crossman Fury. It's a 177 caliber color rifle. So what you need is this black sponge right here. It doesn't have to look like this, but what it does is it gets grip on your gun. And then these are the two colors I'm using. Um, I'm using this as my base. And I use tape to tape off the important parts I don't want to tape. I use it in the barrel too. So, and then I have a mask so I don't have to smell the spray paint and then I have a rag I cleaned um, I just wet it real quick and clean both sides of the gun you can use rubbing alcohol too before you start and then I'll be I'll be using these leaves uh, kind of look like grass but they're a little different from my neighbor's tree and then here's some weeds I'll probably be using too that's about it I'll show you when I start all right let's go coming back All right, here we go. Spray paint. I'm gonna do the first part. Uh. Ah. Okay. Good to go. Just real test run. Okay. So I'm gonna do like about three layers, and that'll be it. So let's see. You know what, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cover the scope a little bit more. Okay, so my other phone just died, so I'm using my old phone. I don't know how long the video lasts. I'm just gonna spray paint the rest of the front side, and then I'm gonna cut the video. And then I'll probably spray paint the other side of the green, but I won't show that part because I don't have enough storage on this phone. The other one needs to charge, so yeah.
All right, so I got the first side done. Gonna wait about, mm, I'd say 20, 30 minutes or so. So yeah. Okay, so it's almost <clears throat> 9.30 and my camera will not focus. There we go. Um, I finished the base colors. I did walk my dog, so it did take a little bit longer than I expected. And the first coat did take a while. It should have only taken about half an hour, but I I over spray painted it. This is probably gonna do the same thing, but I'm only gonna wait like half an hour and then I'm just gonna start the second layer with the pattern on this side. And then I'll just start from there. But first I'll check to make sure that there's no black spots left. And then I'll see you guys then. Alright, put the what? So um, me and my sister just, I was doing it and she helped me, so we just, um, finally put the, the pattern on, some weeds, and, and some leaves, um, and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm really hoping that the, when I spray paint, they don't go flying off, they shouldn't, and I'm pretty sure we have a nice pattern. So, this is the color, go ahead. That's about the color I'm gonna spray for my second day. Alright. And then whatever whatever we got is where the pattern will end up in. Put this back. Like it's really hot. Got to remove these sticks. It's really firm. I don't want the same pattern. Do not want the same colors. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was a big. Whatever happened, the original will stay the original. For the last three and a half hours, I should only be about 40 minutes away. But I noticed at the moment I started spraying these leaves, I should have gotten at least 50% more of them and put them around because they needed more support. They this wasn't enough. I needed thicker leaves. These are hardly hard, like only like 20% of them are actually gonna make a pattern. So that didn't turn out as I sh it should have. Like this one, a few of these do, but we'll find out like in 15, 20 minutes when I take them off. But, so what I'm going to do now to improvise is I got a sponge, I tore it up a little, just a dish soap. If you have the yellow poofy ones, that's recommended. Rip it apart, make a little thing like this, and just go ahead and spray your paint for about 20 seconds in here. It makes a very small drop of water. And you go like Ah, uh, yeah, I'll do it. So you go like this, you get your paint, and get a little bit more, get your paint, and just dab it on. Now this is with, this is with my, um, see that's parts covered right there. This is with the leaves. I'm just doing this just in case the leaves don't come out as what they should. Just gonna dap it on all around, just like that. Don't wanna overkill, cause I know the leaves aren't gonna overkill. Just remember, your leaves are not gonna cover everything. Don't think every single leaf is gonna do the job. No. Let me go ahead and do this. Move all the paint to one spot so I can dap it. There you go. Got my sponge. And we'll just tap it, keep going. So when you tape your important parts, I I taped some screws, but some I untaped because I was like, you know what, that's not that smart. So here I've been dapping. Did a little too much right there. Don't want to do too much because I already have a pattern. 
and I'm messing up by taking off some leaves on accident. I'll just wait, because by the time this is dry, the leaves will be done, and I could take them all off. See, this looks pretty cool, actually. So I used, remember, I used green, then tan, but it ended up looking like tan was my base, because of how I painted it. So it didn't come out exactly how it should have. Hopefully, the, at least a few leaves come out great. I think on the other side, I'll still use leaves, and then they'll probably be the same result, not a very good result, because I did use, like, leaves that are basically grass. So, don't use anything like grass. Use some pointy pine tree leaves. Alright, I think I got my pattern. That's, that's about it. Got it for this side. Get one right there. Right here. Boom. Now, mind you, I live in California, so... It's not... Especially, I live in the Bay Area, so it's not like... I'm hunting or anything for a big game. See, this is already still green, so I can't do anything until I spray paint that. So I think that's good so far. You know what? I'm gonna have to spray paint this part. I didn't do that part. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys probably when I take off the leaves and stuff in the next 20 minutes. Okay, so I just finished. Well, I did not just finish. I finished about half an hour ago. But I had to do some spot up, so I had to wait for this side to dry. The other side is still green, so it turns out I could have just done the base as tan and then did the digital with the sponge because this was a big flop. I could have been done an hour and a half ago. Now I still have to do the other side, and it's almost 12 at night. And I mean, I'm holding it down in my backyard, but. So here, here's the can, the sponge. This is what it made it look like. I really like it. And then these, this is just tape. This is what the sponge came out to look like. And then there's one leaf pattern that I left. So yeah, I'm gonna do the other side and I'll get back to you when I'm done with the whole gun. All right, let me show you how to get done with the gun. Get back up and get down. Get my sponge. Excuse me, I'm talking quiet. <clears throat> it's almost 12.30 at night. I think it is. No, it's like 12.40 something. I actually have cracks on the side. That is because I sprayed over this quite a few times. So I'm going to cover that. I sprayed over it a good amount of times already. So I'm probably... So don't go over... Don't be doing it like me. I'm overdoing it kind of with spraying. It is my first time, but I always tend to like do that. Just to make sure. And that cracks. And the lights went out here. I didn't go out, but the lights can only be on for so long before they turn off automatically. Oh, I messed up right there. Oh, whatever. I didn't want it to look like that. And it's fine. It's your own pattern. You do what you want. The sponge worked out well. Actually, I need to go get a relief that I was going to use for this. I'm going to put something right here. It's going to be my leaf pattern. That I have on the other side, too. But that's about it. That's... That's what my gun is going to look like. Right there. Alright, that's it. A few more touches right here. And, alright, and that's my gun. Oh. Oh. The real thing, the gun review. My spray paint. So. I think it went well. I mean, for, so first I started with the green base, then I went to tan with the, the leaves, and. Then it didn't really work out, so I went back over with. I ripped up a I I ripped a, ha a a a dish soap sponge in half, and then I like cut inside of it. I dipped it in green spray paint, and then I just patted it on. So there are some black parts still. Like I did over tape this one. I could have easily taped it. A little bit more carefully so I could have colored spray painted it more. I'll do this tomorrow. Obviously when you're spray painting, you can't get every spot. You can't be perfect. There is actually a little bit more tape here, but see here, I can do better. I can definitely tomorrow spray paint that. Looks like that might be tape, but I don't think it is. So I can easily spray paint over this real quick. There's a few parts I'm missing, but 
for the most part. Sorry, the the audio and the recording is so bad. It's like it's almost two in the morning. It took me a long time, only because I, I, I it was my fault. I should have just got to it. I mean, I was doing the fastest I could. I just messed up. So yeah, let me go ahead and lay this down for you. This is what it came out to look like. Nice rifle. Go ahead and definitely spray paint over here. And then cover this up just right here. Spray paint all right here. Probably get a little brush. And then go right here too. And then maybe around the scope. And that's about it. I think it looks pretty good. Alright. See ya.